What up everybody? It's that time of the month. Box time. The boxes are rolling in. It's past the 15th, so the boxes are coming in. Today we got Nerd Block. And this was actually the first box I got this month, which I thought was really weird because usually um all usually this is one of the last boxes I get. But um Loot Crate and One Up Box usually come before this and they usually come the same day. So I thought it was really weird that this came first. But I think a lot of the other boxes are kind of lagging. I think they're taking a little bit extra time this month. Or maybe I'm just getting them late. Um, also, I'm not getting Collectible Geek or My Geeky Goodies this month. Um, I had canceled those. I'm probably going to pick them up again later. But they're not coming this month, so I missed the first boxes. So this is the first box this month. So whatever. Alright, well, let's jump right in to this box. First, we got a shirt as usual. Now this shirt was actually really cool. I like this. It's the Flash as a little like ice cream popsicle thing like you would see in an ice cream truck. Now I thought this was really cool, really cool design, but this t-shirt fits like ass. This does not fit good at all and I'm seeing this pattern more and more. Um, these, the, All the boxes, they, they kind of cheap out on the t-shirts because what they do is they, they buy a mass quantity of blank t-shirts and they send it off somewhere to be printed on. And I know this brand, this Gildan brand, that all the t-shirt companies get, or all the boxes get this type of t-shirt, and they suck. It's always really poor quality. You can feel it. It feels just not good. And they always don't fit very well. Like, uh, this has happened with so many shirts before, it just seems like they're, like, shrunk too much. And I tried to stretch it out, but I couldn't really do it, like... It's fitted because I order fitted shirts for them, but it's too short. It's like a belly shirt on me. So it doesn't really fit, which bums me out so much because this is a really cool shirt. So, I mean, I'm going to try and um, get a bigger size from now on. But um, I have a lot of t-shirts. Uh, as you can tell, like I've, you've never seen me wear the same t-shirt twice. I have over a thousand t-shirts because I just I love t-shirts. I love collecting them. I get them from all over the place. So... I've become quite a connoisseur of t-shirts, so I know all about them. I know about quality, I know about material, I know about printing, I've had my own printed. I know just like the ins and outs of t-shirts. And as far as they come, the kind they're printing them on are just really, really cheap, poor quality. Which I hate, I wish they would change that because they pick good designs. Like sometimes it's not a good design, but I like this design. It's funny, it's cool, I really like it. but. But I don't think I can wear it though, because it's just such an awkward size. I hope going up a t-shirt size for this box helps, but I kind of don't think it will. Because I've noticed going up a size, t-shirts usually get wider, but not longer. So it's awkward for me, because I'm tall and I have big shoulders, so they're just never long enough. But anyway, I'm rambling and rambling. Um, this is a very cool t-shirt. Um, we'll get into the value of this later. I have some things to talk about as far as value. but. Before I ramble on too much more, there's the t-shirt. Good stuff. Next, we have a figure. This company I've been seeing, uh, this is a Breaking Bad figure. That, I don't know if you can see it, I don't know if the light's hitting it very well. But it's basically a, a Saul figure. It looks very similar to Kid Robot. Um, if I can't see it very well, I'll try to, try to put a better picture of it up. Um, this company called Titans. I've seen them come, the name come up every once in a while recently. Um, I think they're up and coming. I think it's a company that's trying to trying to get their name out there. But decent quality. I think this is a really good figure. And the the other ones I've seen them do are really cool. They do more realistic ish kind of stuff. So it looks like Kid Robot if they did like realistic faces. They just have a set uh, set that they originally put out um, with the Beatles on it, which I think is really cool. I might get some of those. So good quality figure, and I like it. So I might check out this company. Um, Unfortunately for me, I actually haven't uh, seen Breaking Bad, which I know I've heard so many good things about it. I heard it's an awesome show, but I just haven't checked it out yet. I just haven't got around to it. And the show's over, and it's I had to watch the whole thing. So I just haven't got around to it. So I wish I had, because I'd probably appreciate this so much more, than I, because I just don't really know anything about it. But the cool thing is, this is exclusive to Nerd Block. Um, I think they do like palette swaps, where they do different colors for this figure, so that's exclusive to Nerd Block how he has different outfits, which I think is really cool. I always like figures and I always like exclusive ones. That's what I always look for. 
I wish I could appreciate this more, but I know I'm sure a lot of people out there really do appreciate this. So I do think this is cool, very good quality, I like it. Next, we have a notepad. So this is a little notepad, and it's shaped like a drum set, and then you get two pencils, and the erasers are like little drum head, or drumsticks. So this is cool, like a, this is just like a, like a whatever type of thing, like, it's a notepad, if you need a notepad, then it works well, and the pencils look like drumsticks, so it's, it's fun, it's playful, and, but, it is just a notepad. So, there it is, notepad, looks like a drum set, that's cool. Next, we have... A comic book. So this one I thought um, was a little weird. It's another Star Wars one. It's another number one. And it's, um, it's I thought I was reading it correctly when it said this is exclusive. Let me double check. Should say it right here. Yeah. So this is exclusive. I'm assuming it's just the cover because obviously the whole issue isn't exclusive. Um, the only reason I thought it was weird is because we already got... Uh, Star Wars number one that already had an exclusive cover so that makes the one we already got a little less exclusive because now we have two of the same issue with different exclusive covers I'm, at this point I'm just curious like how many covers did they make for this issue I heard it was a really popular issue and it's still cool I, I didn't read the first one and it's still a cool comic but now we have two number one of Star Wars so it makes it a little less special when they kind of double up like that. It's not the same one, it's a different cover, but still, like, that kind of takes away from it, because we already got one in a previous box. But anyway, Star Wars, number one, Marvel Comics, exclusive cover. Cool. Alright, moving on to the next. Here, we have a card, uh, not a card set, but just packs of cards. So basically, on these cards, are cosplay people, mostly girls, I think there's like one dude in there, but it's a card series of cosplayers, like famous ones, like you've probably heard of some of them, um, I can't think of, uh, I, th I think one of them's uh, Liana Vamp is like the most popular one, but anyway, very famous cosplayers in different costumes. So these are, these are cool, and these are also exclusive to Nerdblock, it's cool and it's an interesting concept, um, I feel a little bit creepy having these, like, cards of actual people just in like sexy costumes so I, I'm not totally sure how to feel about it but it's still cool it's it's a creative thing and it's something you're not going to get anywhere else so I do appreciate that and you got two packs of them and I checked them out they're good quality and uh, they, they got good photography and, and the models are, are good looking so I guess that's cool it, it's it's interesting so you got some cards to creep on some people there you go creepy cards and the last item these are exclusive to NerdBlock. These are called clickers. So basically what this is, I open one of them up. It's this little chain, and it clicks into any shape. And it can go back and forth, up and down, and you make it into all kinds of different shapes. And I think you can disconnect them, maybe. Yeah, you can disconnect them. So these are cool, and these are really interesting, fun little toys. And you make different shapes with them. And that's kind of all you can say about them. But, from what I was reading, these are exclusive to NerdBlock. I mean, I have seen things like this out, out there in toy world. But it's cool that they, this brand is specific to NerdBlock. And you got two packs of them. And the packaging is really cool. They, they have nice packaging on them. And, they're, yeah, they're kind of fun to play around with. And that's what we got. The, other, the only other thing we got in here, I don't know if this is anything. Um, had a little bulletin card in here about Simon Pegg um, invading NerdBlock. I don't know what this means. It doesn't describe anything. I don't know if this means he's like curating the next box or he's gonna have an item in the next box or in this one. Like, I don't know. I wish they'd describe that. Because I really like Simon Pegg and I'd be stoked to have something from him. But anyway, so that's what came in the box. So let's get into a price point and value on the box. Oh yeah. Ninja Turtles mug. So, value, box. We have our t-shirt. And let me make an official announcement right now. I'm no longer putting the same value on all t-shirts. I've done that for months now. Uh, I did that for so many boxes. I just put a $15 value just to make it easy. No argument there. But I'm officially stopping doing that. Because 
Last month, if you watched the video of, um, what was it? My Geek Box from the UK, their shirt was like just garbage. That's like plain black with this like one little tiny logo. It was so cheap. And to put that, like to think like My Geek Box and the shirt from Geek Me Box, which was really good quality, nice t-shirt, nice print, nice image. To put them both on the same like level field of $15 just isn't fair. It's not fair to put like someone that put a lot of effort into a t-shirt and designing it the same as one that like really cheaped out. So from now on, I'm not going to put like a standard 15 value. If something is lower, I'm going to lower the value. And one of the major reasons I'm doing that, and I'm going to go into a story right now, so excuse me for going into it. But I was at Walmart recently trying to get some Amiibos, which are just crazy insanely hard to get, but I was at Walmart and I saw their t-shirt selection there and they had some really cool t-shirts like honestly like I wanted to get them I didn't have time to try any on but they had like Marvel, DC, Avengers they had one with Gizmo on it really cool stuff and they were only seven dollars and fifty cents not on sale that was just the price like they're all around price all the time and then that made me realize like how cheap t-shirts are really are to get them made. I'm sure the shirts at Walmart are really crappy quality, but still, to think you could get like full design t-shirts for $7.50 and I was putting a value of the Geek, uh, my Geek Box of $15, like it just doesn't make sense. So again, sorry for rambling, but I'm just not going to do that anymore. So for this shirt, I will keep this at a $15 value. Um, although it didn't fit me at all, I'm hoping that changing the size will help a little bit. Um, I, I do, I will say that the t-shirt the choice, the, just the plain t-shirt was poor quality, but I don't want to ding them too much on that. So I'm still going to leave this one at a $15 value and then see what happens next month, see if the shirt fits any better in a bigger size. Because I really do like this design. I thought it was really cool and very clever, and it's printed on there well. So I'm going to keep that at $15 and give them one more chance with the shirts. So 15 on that. We have our figure. Titan's figure, Breaking Bad. This is a good quality figure. I really like this. Good paint job, good sculpt. You can actually see the facial features and it actually looks like the guy. So this I could see easily 12, maybe $15. I, I, I could honestly see this going for like 15 bucks or maybe a little less than that, but right around there. So there's that. Next, the pad, the pen and pencil pad, um, again, at the end of the day, this is just a notepad. It's not anything too special about it, um, but it had good packaging and it does have a design on it. So I could see this going for like six bucks and like marked up as high as like maybe eight dollars, but probably closer to six, five or six bucks for this, which I think is reasonable for like a specialty pad with pencils and cool erasers. Like, I think that's reasonable. So there's that. Comic. It didn't say it on there, but I'm pretty sure it's $3.99. Uh, um, if I remember correctly on the last one, it had the price on there. It was $3.99. $3.99. So four bucks for the comic. Reasonable. Average price. Nothing special about that. Next. The cards. So some of these items, it gets really tricky to put a value on because they're exclusive to the block and it, it's... It's kind of, I still think they're kind of odd. They're cool, but it's just a weird item. So I'm going to go on just like a generic card pack. I think if you bought any kind of cards, Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I think they average like $2.50 to $3 like per pack. I think that's a reasonable amount, especially for like cheaper cards. So that's what I put it at, $2.50 to 3 bucks, And then you got two packs, so double that. There's that. And then lastly... The clickers. This all, some also somewhat hard to put a value on it, but I could see these going for like anywhere from like three to five dollars a piece, five on the high end, and like three dollars I think would be a reasonable price because you only get one. They are like specially packaged per item, but I think th around three dollars per one would be a fair price for that. So overall, um, you have a value of somewhere between. 48 on the low end to 58 on the high end. But 58, that's the really high end. That's like high, high retail. If you want my honest opinion, I'd put this value 
probably right around 50 bucks for this box. Uh, when you take everything into consideration, a lot of the values I gave it, I would honestly put it on the lower end of those values. So I'd say right around $50. So, and that kind of seems to be where NerdBlock is most of the time, right around 50, which is okay. I've said the standard is right about double, but it doesn't have to be double, and they're pretty close to it. You pay 30 and you get 50, like, and the, it varies a little bit, but I think that's a decent amount. I would appreciate it if it was 60, but if it's not, that's okay. You're not gonna like break me over a few dollars. And they do sometimes, they go all the way up to 60 and higher than that, so it varies. So overall, I still like NerdBlock. I, they've been consistent, like they've never been a huge disappointment to me ever, um, but they've also had some really cool stuff. They, they really take the time to do exclusive things and also interesting things, things that, that are hit and miss a lot of the times. They're not always like super cool, amazing, but sometimes they are, and I appreciate that. I think it's worth the risk, like to have some that are really good and some that aren't, just to have some variety. Because I, I like I said, I get so tired of a t-shirt and a Funko Pop in every single box. And I really hope uh, next month's shirt fits better. I'm, I'm gonna try to make this one fit me because I still really like it. I think it's a cool shirt, but overall, pretty good box. Uh, if you want my opinion, like a rating of this, I'd probably give it like a 6 out of 10, maybe a 6.5, something like that. But pretty good box. I liked it. So more boxes to come. This is the first of the month and I've been subscribing to some new boxes. I'm not sure if they'll come this month because they usually take a month to get processed and um, I'm having a lot of trouble with some boxes. Like you'd think it'd be easy to get a box like you give someone money and they give you their product, but I'm having such a hard time getting subscribing to some of these boxes, you wouldn't believe it. But we'll get into that when I get those boxes. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Love you all. Peace.